Hello everyone. So today I'm going to walk through my a bunch of my epilepsy paintings that I've done. The reason why I'm doing it today is today, um, other than being Valentine's Day, is International Epilepsy Awareness Day. So I'm going to, as I said, walk you through a bunch of paintings that I have that relate to epilepsy. So this is my first one here that I find is the most fitting where there's 3.4 million cases in the US it occurs more in Hispanics than other folks a third of the people who have epilepsy are also depressed 65 million cases worldwide 75 percent of people with epilepsy live in developing countries and they don't get the treatment they need 80 percent of people with epilepsy live in developing countries and a quarter of all new cases are in kids so that is on a 16 by 20 canvas and next up I have this one here my name is Matt so I did like an acronym to it the thing in the middle is the epilepsy awareness ribbon and the numbers at the top are my medicine dosages the things next to attitude are awards I've received throughout my life two big awards I received Toughness was my college GPA in my uh, in business, and then the one on the right is overall and teaching. One out of fifty, I had I've received two big acknowledgments related to epilepsy with that, and just the things that 2020 taught us. And then this one over here, this is a life with epilepsy. I drew it as like an uphill. Uh, you can look at it as uphill or downhill. I was intending uphill because epilepsy can present like an uphill battle. Um, it occurs in 1 in 26 people. And as I mentioned before, a third of the people are also depressed. And 6 out of 10 have an unknown cause. Um, and then this next one I did was epilepsy in my life and I did it to parts of my brain and then what those different parts like functions that they do so in the frontal lobe which deals kind of with talking and processing that I did pause less than I used to while talking because I had brain surgery and I'm that has improved and then in the uh, parietal lobe um, I did workout videos tied to epilepsy statistics. The occipital, which deals with vision, was the hardest one to think of. But I said support around me, because seeing the people support me is huge. And then in the temporal lobe, which deals with memory. Um, so that's okay, but the hardest thing for me to honestly remember is names. So that's why I wrote, what's your name again? Um... And as you'll see, you'll see purple on a bunch of these. Purple is like the color for epilepsy. Um, and so my next thing I did, these are all on 8x10 canvases. This next set here, uh, I did a set of seasons. I'm going to show them as fall, winter, spring, summer. So I tied purple into all of them. It's in the grapes and the cornucopia there to show that epilepsy is a year-long thing. And down here we have it in, in the winter one, we have it in the flowers that the deer is eating. Then over here we have it in the both the butterflies and we have it in the, the bush. And then up in summer we have it in the sunset. Uh, so, you know, it's not just year long, but you see it in different ways. And... Then buzzwords we have for epilepsy. I did a Scrabble board. I've always enjoyed Scrabble myself. So these are just some of them. These aren't all of them. But, you know, like the ketogenic diet was created for people with epilepsy. A rescue med is something now a bunch of people will use if they sense themselves going into a seizure or having multiple Um and stay safe side are like the three main words for uh, seizure first aid. You stay with the person 
You start to time the seizure. You make sure they're safe. Keep them away from things like steps, street, water. Um, you roll them on their side. You loosen things like clothing. Uh, get something so soft under their head. Um, yeah, so that's what those three words are about. And uh, another one is, the key one is the memory. A lot of people's memory get affected by either the seizures that then affect the brain or the medicines that they are taking, which have a side effect of losing memory. Um, so I'm not going to go through all these, but those are probably the main ones there to be aware of. And then we all can, and then anybody, as my one shirt that I'm wearing right now says, anybody can, epilepsy can affect anybody, and anybody with a brain can have epilepsy so you know it's not just this next painting I have is one also on an 8x10 canvas that last one was on a 16x20 but you know the people both who live with the epilepsy and others around them after they see a seizure have to bounce back but um you know especially the people like myself when that once they have them can be very uh tired, can end up being a little forgetful, um, can have a bad headache, and a couple other things. So it's uh, bouncing back from it and recharging is key. Um, so epilepsy is something that is very common, but, you know, doesn't take away from um, people living a normal life, people being creative, um, people being able to work or keep up with in sports or stuff. It might be the case for some people, but it's not a general statement. Uh, so if either you are interested in any of these, um, let leave a comment and I'll be in touch with you personally. It will go towards fundraising for the Epilepsy Foundation. I will do it for the one I live near, the Epilepsy Foundation of Eastern Pennsylvania, which uh, is based out of Philadelphia, but covers 18 counties and roughly 110,000 people who live with epilepsy and their families in many different ways, including a camp, various kinds of support groups, um, stuff for young adults, stuff for in people in between, uh, t groups that work with ways to work with memory, and, um, a, a gala, a golf invitational, and much more going on throughout the year. So as I said, if you're interested, leave a comment down below, and we'll do something individual. Um, I hope everyone has a good Valentine's Day, and stay safe. Take care. Bye.